Hello, YouTube world, and welcome to another episode of Focus Knob. What's up, YouTube? So a few weeks ago, I did a review of the Sky Genius 8x42 binoculars. I spent $20 for this purchase, and I said this was the worst binoculars for $20 I ever spent. And as promised, I was going to dissect this, and I'm halfway there. So I've taken the the center spline, the the hinge, center hinge, I've taken that out so I could take the binoculars apart. And on this side I've taken off the the rubber armor or sheathing. And I've already taken this one apart fully clean the inside, removed all the grease because there was a ton of grease and I used brake cleaner to remove the, the grease because it was it was tough removing the grease simply by using water and soap. So, so now I'm going to show you after it's all been cleaned what the inside looks like on a $20 binocular. that out of the way so basically what's left is this brass shaft which controls the focus so if you might remember from the previous video there was a the center shaft has a helical screw and it's attached to this brass shaft and it goes up and down and that controls the focus and as you can see over here you can see there's a, a center shaft or cylinder that also goes up and down and this objective lens is attached to that shaft or this tube center cylinder and that goes in and out and that controls the focus hopefully that shows on camera well so if I just twist this like so Now we could pull out this center tube and that holds this objective lens. Now this, this is plastic. Most of this binocular is plastic. It's like a probably nylon reinforced plastic, maybe glass reinforced plastic, but very, very hard plastic. And this was all covered in grease, as well as the inside of this, all covered in grease. So it was quite a mess. So I didn't want to do this review with all that grease and get it all over my nice green mat. So I, I cleaned, cleaned it with a brake cleaner. Now it's all nice and cleaned. So let's unscrew this one. Amazing how the fine threads on these plastic pieces. And let's see, there's an inside ring here. I need to get my spanner wrench to take that out. This is the spanner wrench that I use for removing lens retaining ring. So let me just line this up. And 
and spin it. There we go. Put the fine thread on that. And let's see how many lenses. Okay. So it's a glued doublet lens, meaning it has two lenses glued together to, cre to create a acromat. And this lens is only single coated. I think only one surface is coated because there's only a very light green reflection. Not a deep green. So that one goes this way. Okay. Let's see what else we can take apart. That's the inside of the tube. You can see the prism all the way at the bottom. So the prism sits right here and these are the collimating screws, I think. There's three of them. Let's see if we can access that. Okay. So that screwed the, the eyepiece. See if we can take the, the rest of this apart. So this would sit over here. Like that. And this thing holds the eye cup. Oh, just cracked it. That thing goes like that. In and out. See, it's hard to spin them now that I've cleaned off the, the grease. So, I'll slightly crack this piece because it's so thin walled. Oh well. And this controls the. This ring controls the diopter you can see it you can see the eyepiece goes up and down and that controls your diopter which grabs on so this ring grabs onto these these pins, there's one on each side, there's two of them, and that moves the eyepiece in and out or up and down. Let's see if we can take this one apart. I guess you have to remove these pins. Let's see. still plastic so this is your eyepiece okay let's see if we can take this one I'm gonna need a smaller attachment for this one 
what's good about this wrench is that it comes with these different tips for different purposes. Like this one is a fine tip, which should fit nicely for the smaller slots here. We can switch them out very quickly. Lock that and then match the width to the size of the slots. Lock that. Makes the job a whole lot easier when you got the right tools. Okay, I think I can do this by hand now. Yeah, that's plastic as well. This retaining ring. Okay, if we can, let's see if we can remove the lens without having it fall all over the place. Okay, ooh, so there's like several lenses here. So, first lens. So the curved surface is going inside. I wanna make sure I put it back the way I find it. So it's like that. This one is just a, a separator. Okay. And we got another doublet glued together with the curved surface going that way. And I don't see any anti reflective coating on them. The reflection is white. Maybe a tiny bit on this surface, maybe. Let's see this one, nothing there, nothing there. Yeah. So that's that. So let me put it back together the way I found it. it goes that way, it goes that way, it goes that way. Right, next is the prism. And I think it's only held on by these three set screws or collimating screws. Wrong size. Too big. That's about right. That's, that's the five sixty fourth slotted end. Okay. And these screws are held on by these adhesive. breaks off easily enough. I hope the camera can see the set screw. Right there. 
right there and right there. Three of them. And that's it. And here's your prism. I think this is like a Smith Pecan, Smith Pechan, Pechan, however you say it. Smith Pechan uh, Prism. And from the looks of it, there's no anti reflective coating. That I can detect. The reflections are white lights. And I think that's also plastic. The cage. Plastic. So I'm guessing in order to collimate it, you adjust the screws because there's, there's some play in, in this uh, cylinder. So depending on how you set the collimation or the collimation screws, you can adjust the position of this prism inside this tube. That, that way, that way, to line it up with respect to the objective lens. All right, I think that's about it. I don't think I can take this thing any further, further apart. Yeah, there's no point in taking this one apart. It's just a prism. Thank you for watching, please give the video a thumbs up to let others know this is good stuff. If you didn't like it, comment down below and let me have it. Also subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified of any future videos that I release, you'll be the first to know. Okay, until next time, see ya.